Hi, I'm Todd Allen, the Zone Line Trainer for GE Appliances. This video will demonstrate the steps to install the RAK UVC1 and RAK UVC2 Zone Line UVC kits. This includes replacing the air cutoff assembly, the main board, wiring harness, junction box, junction box cover, ground wire, mini manual, and auxiliary settings sticker. Before starting your installation, verify that your Zone Line PTAC is compatible with the kit and you have the correct kit for your voltage application. Your Zone Line must have an engineering revision of five or higher for compatibility. Models with a D, as indicated here, use kit RAK UVC1. If an E is in this place, an RAK UVC2 is required. It is also a good idea to note your current auxiliary settings before starting so they can be reset once the kit installation is complete. Let's get started. With power switched off at the service panel and lockout tagout procedures applied, remove and discard the existing junction box if present, remove and discard the original mini manual, and unplug the power connection. Remove and retain three 5 16th screws that secure the user interface to the chassis. To remove the panel, lift up on the bottom left corner and slide the panel to the right. Unplug the panel and set it aside. Remove and retain four 5 16th inch screws that secure the air outlet louver. Remove the louver and set aside. Using needle nose pliers, remove the wire grid and set aside. Remove and retain seven 5 16 inch screws that secure the air outlet deflector. Note, models that require the RAK UVC2 kit will have a vent thermistor attached and will need to be temporarily removed. Set the deflector aside. Remove the cutoff assembly by gently pulling the right end cap to the right and pulling the cutoff assembly to the left. The new cutoff assembly includes the UVC light technology. Use the same method to install the new cutoff with the UVC technology from the kit. Reinstall the air outlet deflector and route the UVC wiring through the wiring notch as shown. Secure the deflector with the original 7 5 16 inch screws. Note, the top right screw will be installed when the user interface is installed. Note, if installing an RAK UVC2, reconnect the thermistor. Replace the wire grid and reinstall the outlet louver using the original 4 5 16 inch screws. Disconnect the thermistor wiring harness from the main board. Remove and retain two quarter inch screws that secure the main board cover and set the cover aside. Disconnect the indoor fan wiring harness and squeeze the locking pin to release the main board. Disconnect the wiring connectors at the top of the main board. Now you can unplug any remaining connectors from the board. Note the location of the brown and black wires on the heater relay. Reversing these wires will disable the heating circuit. Use pliers to remove ground wire and wire terminals from the heater relay. Remove and discard the main board. Using high voltage discharge pliers, release possible stored energy from the capacitor. Before installing the new main board, refer to the service board setup section of the mini manual included with the Zone Line UVC kit and configure the dip switches as instructed. Note, failure to complete these steps correctly can cause operation issue. Locate the main board and wiring harness in the kit. Connect the orange connector to the main board. Reconnect the ground wire and heater terminals as previously noted. Reconnect the remaining wiring connectors. Note, similar power connections are color-coded to ensure proper connection. White connectors are unique and will only plug in to the appropriate connection point. 
reconnect the remaining connectors at the top of the main board and route the new wiring harness as shown. Align the main board with a locking pin and press to secure. Reconnect the indoor fan connector and reinstall the main board cover. Locate the new junction box with a UVC power supply. Secure the main wiring harness to the junction box with a wire harness zip tie. On models that use wall plugs, the strain relief knockout will need to be removed. Align the three tabs on the junction box with the corresponding tabs and install the junction box to the main board cover. Secure the junction box with a silver screw included with a kit. Plug the two-wire connector into the UVC power supply board and plug in the large white UVC harness connector. Dress the UVC harness wiring inside the junction box. Plug in the power connector and install the junction box cover using the black screw included with a kit. Plug in the UVC light assembly. If a junction box was previously installed on this unit, reuse the ground wire and ground screw and attach it to the junction box. If no junction box was previously used, remove one of the ground screws from the indoor coil and secure the new ground wire included with the kit with the original ground wire and screw. Secure the other end of the ground wire to the junction box using the green screw included with the kit. Reconnect the thermistors. Place the new auxiliary setting sticker on the base pan over the original. Place the new mini manual from the kit in the control area for future use. Connect the user interface panel and secure it to the chassis using the original three screws. Restore power to the unit and set the engineering revision. P1 will be displayed prompting this process. Verify the auxiliary settings match the original settings and change as needed. A new auxiliary setting, Mode C, is added to this upgrade to enable and disable UVC operation. An LED indicator light illuminates when the UVC light is commanded to run. Note, UVC operation is disabled if the indoor fan isn't running at a minimum of 600 RPMs. Low fan speed is 650 RPMs. Install the room front cover to complete the installation. We're here to support you. For information on this or any other GE ZoneLine products, visit us at ZoneLine.com.